to you. Bonjour, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Ludo Lefebvre, chef from Tramec, Petit Trois, Fort Amelia, Ludo Bird. And uh, welcome, thank you to be here today. I know it's a busy day for America, we have the playoff. But uh, thank you so much for uh, watching me. Today I'm going to uh, show you how to use a knife, knife skill. How to dice, or chop, I mean, slicing, julienne, all the little trick. What can you do with a knife, with a global knife? Global are uh, my favorite brand. I use global for like 20, 20 years. This one are brand new, but I have some in my house. They are like vintage. Okay. So, also I want to um, tell you a little thing we're going to do at the end of my uh, demo. In my at the end, in 25 minutes, we are going to invite two of my cook next door at Petroi and to challenge me to a dice onions competition. And also, if you are in the neighborhood. If you're around, please stop by, be here in 25 minutes, and you can challenge me also to see if you can dice faster an onion. If you beat me, you get to win the beautiful set, global beautiful set, look at this. And trust me, it's not difficult to beat me. I'm a little rusty now, I'm, little, I'm getting old, so I'm not that fast, trust me. Uh, anyway, so we're going to start today to show you a different technique with knife, okay? So you see I have a set of knife here. My favorite knife is this one. I'm going to show you. Where is it? So many knife here. Of course it's so a utility knife. Love that knife. I do a lot, a lot with that. Okay? Uh, something I want to uh, show you is uh, when I go to some people's uh, kitchen, people most of the time have a hard time to dust, to dye, sorry, tomato. Okay? Or to slice tomato perfectly. With this knife, it's so easy. Know, because a little bit serenade. Okay, look at this. I feel like I'm doing a demo, like on TV, like to try to sell knife. You know, when they cut a piece of a metal with a knife. So look, utility knife is serenade and just very. It's so easy. You can go so thin, guys. Look at this. Also, I forgot to tell you guys. When you hold a knife, always have your finger like that on the top of the blade, and. That's the way you hold a knife. Not like that. Not like we that. have hello from Texas, Texas, Austria, Massachusetts, Las Vegas. Wow, guys. Also, I want to show one thing I have to say. A lot of people ask me all the time about a tomato, how to peel a tomato and to dice a tomato after also. You know, you put a little X here on the tomato like that. Like this, like that. And to the isk, do an x here. Voilà. X, x. I'm gonna show you after that. But also, you see, look, I got, I got so thin with the utility knife. So position the finger very well, and look at this. With this knife, it's so easy to slice the skin because most of the time, if you don't have a good knife. Still, sometimes with a good knife, it's very difficult. So the skin of the tomato is very, very thick. So it's very difficult to slice, you know. But with a utility knife, because it's a red knife, it's so easy. And so easy to, manip to, uh, to manipulate the knife, you know. See that? I mean, you can go very, very thin, like pepper. pepper. Look at this. Oh, sorry, this one, a little too thin, but. See that? Look at this. It's like so easy guys, you know, pepper feet. You know? How do you use thinly sliced tomatoes in your cooking? The what? How do you use thinly sliced tomatoes in your cooking? Most of the time what we do at the restaurant, we do like a tomato sushi. Like we do sushi, sushi rice, roll it, and we put a nicely tomato on top, a few slicing, and after we put like a vinaigrette, a lime vinaigrette with olive oil, you know, voila. So, voila, see, see guys, so after the tomato, so you dice your tomato, Sorry, you put a little X like that. Come with me, follow me. Voila. So you're gonna put your tomato in boiling water with a touch of salt. Puff, just like that. Very, very easy. Boom. Just, you know, like 30 seconds. You have a 
ice bath here, just ice water. Hello from Salt Lake City, Germany. Oh, I've been to Salt Lake City. We have some hellos from Los Angeles. Do you want to remind them about the challenge? What about, uh, where do you live? What, what, what's the name? Terry. Terry, come here, Terry. Where do you live, Terry? You should come here, guys. You have a beautiful set to win here. So, see, guys? It's pretty amazing, this set. Come on. Okay, so look. Look at this. Come here. Viana, Viana. Regarde. See the tomato now? Look at the skin. Regarde. Tu vois? Spill so easy now. So after you don't want to overcook the tomato, so you put right away in the ice bath. Ice bath, right away. You see here the, the skin again? Boom, start the peel. So up, right away in the ice bath. Poof, again. Ice bath. So you see, it takes like 30 seconds, one minute, okay? Very, very quick. Voila. Then now, follow me, come here. Oh so, yeah. The metal looks very nice now. Now I'm taking the tomato. Come here, okay. I'm taking the tomato. So, so look at this. See now it's so easy to peel. Look at this. Easy. The tomato is still very, very firm. I did not overcook the tomato because we put the tomato in the ice bath. Boom. Beautiful. See? And now, because we take off the very, very thick skin, huh? Huh? so now it's more easy to slice. You know, you can use a regular uh, a chef knife, okay? So make sure you have the good, you cut the base here. So all the time, you know, when you slice, make sure you have space in your cutting board and make sure it's very well stable. And then after, again, knife, okay? You hold the three finger here. Pulse la, finger here. La, you really hold very well. Really, your knife is an extension on your arm, okay? It's really, it should be uh, very easy to flow, you know. And up, and up, up. Rebecca's wondering how often should you sharpen your knives? Rebecca, that's a very, very good question, okay? I would say the, I mean, it's, it's about feeling, you know, it's just really like, you touch your, uh, your blade, you know, you can feel it, you know. But more you use your knife, of course, more you need to sharpen your knife, you know. Uh, when I was cooking a lot, a lot in the kitchen, still, but I was trying my knife every day. You know, but after it's about feeling, you, you can feel it. You know, when you slice, if you're not slicing anymore, you need to sharpen it, you know. Steven's always wanted to make his own tomato sauce. Ah, oh, Steve, this is not today for talking about tomato sauce, but you know, dice a little onions, a little olive oil, garlic, the tomato, cook it with olive oil, tomato paste, and that's it, blend it. I mean, it's not difficult, you know. But I do it with Steve, man, making tomato. But you see, it's very easy too, huh? See, when you have no skin, it's very easy to slice. See? Very easy. Because with the skin, it can be a little bit more difficult. Huh? I mean, look, when you have a sharp knife, it's, you need to understand cooking, it's all about dicing, prepping, and knife skill. It's very, very important in the kitchen, you know? A lot of the students, you know, finish school, and uh, they don't know how to use a knife. Knife is a key, knife skill is a key of cooking also. People forget about that. You need to have a good knife and have skill and practice, you know? Chef Heidi is wondering if you've ever had the opportunity to cook with Chef Paul Bocuse. No, no idea, but thank you very much. Yeah, Paul Bocuse uh, passed away yesterday. Uh, that's sad, you know, he was really the, the symbol, the emblem of French cooking, you know, he did so much for cooking all around the world, you know? That's sad, but no idea, never. You know, I never, I never eat in this restaurant too. I mean, uh, yeah, sad. Chef Abigail's wondering how you keep your slices the same thickness. Look, I mean, it's just after it's practice, practice, practice. You know, it's just about that. It's like everything. Like it's like sport. It's like it's all about practicing. You know, you know. Trust me, I cut my, my a lot myself before, guys. Okay. Bon, maintenant, okay, tomato is finished, les enfants, guys. Now. Okay, now I'm gonna go with garlic. I'm gonna show you how to garlic. So let me organize. So you see guys, when you dice, when you walk in the kitchen, make sure to clean. You know, see? I clean all the time my station. You 
know, it's very important, okay? Voilà. Okay, so now garlic. Comme ça. Ah. Garlic, garlic. So many things you can do with garlic, okay? Bon, garlic. First, we're going to peel the garlic, so. I'll show you a bit like that, okay? Voilà, this is the garlic here. Voilà. So garlic is very... Uh, a lot of people have a different way to slice the garlic. A lot of people uh, love their garlic slice very thin. Some people love dice. Like for example, when you do a tomato sauce. Tomato sauce is a very, very, very uh, uh, big deal like an Italian. You know? If you need to dice the uh, garlic or if you need to slice the garlic, everybody have a different way. You know? What's your way? Uh, somebody teach me how to very, very, very slice the garlic very, very thin with a razor blade. It was uh, Anthony Bourdain. And actually, I like this way. I remember I was doing a show with Anthony and uh, Anthony had this razor blade and thin, very, very thin the garlic. It was pretty, I like it, it was good, I like it. Yeah. Bon, today I'm show you that, so good garlic. Voilà, okay, so we need a paring knife, okay. So, of course, you know, a uh, lot of mistakes I see in the kitchen, at people's house or in my kitchen, is most of the time people don't use the proper knife for dicing, peeling, you know, you need to use a proper knife for what you know. And proper knife, first, it's to peel the garlic. Okay, so peel the garlic very easy. Here, the truth is here. Here, boom. Well, yeah, to the and after that, just peel a lot. So, at the restaurant, when we, when we have a lot of garlic to peel, what we do, the night before, we put the head of garlic in cold water, overnight. And uh, the next day, it's very, uh, it's more easy to peel the garlic because the water, the skin become a little more soft, so it peel way more easy and more faster. Christine you know? is wondering uh, how do chefs remove garlic odor from their hands? The smell. Just uh, clean your uh, clean your hand very well, Christine, with some uh, good soap, you know. But sometimes, trust me, I go home and I smell garlic. <laughs> you know, Christine, it's just a reality of uh, cooking, you know. You know. It's fun, but you know. Or oh, you know, uh, Christine, what you do, you know, you just put uh, sometimes, you know, when I uh, when I peel a lot of garlic, you know, Christine, what I do, just put low, you know, put low, you know, like that. Your hand don't, you know. Well, some chefs uh, don't like to use gloves, some people love to use gloves uh, after you, you decide what you want to do. You know, it's very personal, you know. But if you put gloves, Christine, you're safe, you know. Rebecca's wondering what the best type of cutting board to use is. Uh, huh. Education. I mean, I love wood. You know, I mean, there's so many different cutting boards now. Sorry, sorry, Rebecca. You know, after it's a uh, it's choice, you know, but make sure to have a um, a way like, like this cutting board, you know. Bon, this one don't really uh, slice. You know, you always make sure your cutting board is very stable. And if you don't want to, you can always put a piece of tower, you wet a little bit your tower, and put under the cutting board. Like this, you don't move. But always, it's a good question. Always make sure the cutting board is very, very stable. Okay? Voilà. Bon, garlic. We need one more, guys. Voilà, go like that. So you can see this garlic, you know, it's pretty old. Okay, I'm gonna show you why. It's not a, I mean, it comes from the market, but it's still aged. Because what makes the garlic a little bit bitter sometimes is uh, the germ inside the garlic. Okay, here, you see this thing here? Sometimes it's green, but this little piece of germ here. So you need to make sure you take up that. Okay, so look. You slice it like that here, up. And this piece sometimes is very, very green here. That's what made the garlic very, very bitter. So you go here with a little paring knife, take the tips here, and if you take up this little thing here, see, that's a little germ. And when the garlic is very young, this thing is green. So that is very bitter, you know. Now it's pretty okay, you know. When it was very green, you take up back, you know. That's wrong. That's me. I'm going to kiss my wife now. Anyway, bon, moi, I don't have blow because I don't feel my garlic. So I'll take off the blow. I'm 
but just made it. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. After garlic, you can slice it. Okay, like very thin like that. So you see my finger? Look at the finger. They like that on the garlic. You hold very well the garlic and you just, so you just so the side is very like they do, uh, like you know, my friend Anthony Bourna in Italy, you know, pepper thin garlic. You know, pepper thin. Okay, so you, have, you can slice like that, what is the tomato sauce? Okay, after we can just dice it, like what we do most of the time in France. So you slice like that here. Oh, you go one more time like that here, you cut on this way like that. You know, I know it's very tiny, sorry. Okay, and after, up. Voila. And now I'm going to show you a little trick, you know, when you chop garlic. You know, in the kitchen, sometimes we have a lot of garlic to chop. Like Petit Roi, we do a, uh, escargot butter. And escargot butter, it's a lot, a lot of shine, uh, uh, garlic. That's why you soak the garlic before in water to peel it faster, but also after, you know, it's after chopping the garlic. Bon, chef knife. So chop the garlic. So I'm gonna go very, very quick. So you take your blade, like that. Puff, crush like that. See? Puff, push, crush like that. So that when the garlic is like that, you can use that also to just, you know, roast the garlic in olive oil and give some flavor to the olive oil to do a tomato paste and you take off the garlic after, okay? I don't know if you understand guys, yeah? and that's it, okay? Voila. Bon, after I'm gonna go like a real quick shop, but I want, you show, I want to show you a little trick. So now I have my garlic like that, okay? And now I want to shop it, to shop it fast. You know, like that, you know? But you see the garlic go everywhere, it's not easy. See, when I do that, look at this. Regardez, regardez, regardez. When I do that, look at the blade and the garlic. So the garlic go everywhere, so it's not easy. So the trick to stick the garlic together is to put a little bit of oil here. You can put grapeseed oil, uh, olive oil, any kind of oil you want. Put a little bit of uh, olive oil here. Look. So I put a little bit of olive oil on the garlic, just like that. Boop. It's okay. So you put your garlic like that, and now, you know, when the garlic is well like that with all, it will stick together. And as you can see, the garlic don't jump everywhere. It's so easy to chop garlic like that. See what? So the, the garlic is very stick together. So it's very fast. So it's a very good trick, guys, to do that. It's a good, good, good trick to chop garlic very fast. Hop, like that. The blade like that, and after also you can go also like that if you want. Take your knife like that, and here, and you go like that. It's a little less noisy, so if you want to show up in your kitchen, like you know you have guests, whatever you want to act like you cook very well, and that, just go like that. So as you sound like a pro, look like a pro, that's great. I love it. Put it like that. Boop. Chopped garlic. Can you see, guys? Voilà. Bon, next. I'm going to show you to dice the shallot quick. The shallot is a big part for me of cooking, and I use a lot of shallot in cooking. For you know, steak, vegetable, uh, I use that a lot in dressing, dressing, uh, dressing salad. I love it. So, always clean your plate, okay? You use your knife, clean the blade all the time, okay? All the time, clean your blade, okay? Clean it. And be careful when you clean your blade, okay? Put your tower, but make sure where it's cutting, outside your hand, okay? I see one day people doing that, watch. Come ça. And I see somebody cut himself like that one day. Yes, he was bloody, trust me. Yes. <laughs> Allez, shallot. Now, shallot. One of my favorite, favorite things to cook is shallot. I do a lot of things with shallot. I don't cook dessert yet, but I love shallot. So, very knife, okay. Again, 
using your knife, dicing, cleaning, peeling, is to use the right knife. It's like cooking. When you're cooking, you need to use the right pot, you know? So, very knife first. It comes to its extremity like that. Come ça. Voilà. After, hop, take your knife, follow here, a little incision like that. Puff. And after you peel the shallot. Okay. Voilà. Voilà. Okay. Then after, chef knife. Uh -huh. Voilà. Shallot here. Now I'm going to show you. You know how to dice the shallot. Okay, so again, knife very important. Three finger here. Hold your knife very well. Like your knife needs to be like nobody can take it. Huh? You know, it's like when you play tennis. You know, I don't know if you play tennis, but you know, if you don't hold your racket very well, you're not going to eat the ball very well. Cooking is the same thing. Okay, hold your knife very well. Finger like that. It's a good position. Like my hand is floating. It's like a really an extension of my hand. Okay. Then after finger, look, finger. So, make sure it's stable, everything, finger like that. Okay, so, four finger the front, and now my blade are going to follow my finger, and I'm going to move like that. That's for that when you see the chef on TV, you know, they're slicing, and they look at you the same time, you know, because the blade is following the finger, like that. That's the hand is just moving, and the knife is just follow. That's why you see the chef. Hey, how are you? Ça va? Ouais, ça va? Okay, so we do the same thing. Okay? Look. On y va. Alors, regardez. Take the tips here. So the tips is going to... I'm going to slowly, I'm going to slowly for you, okay? So really, my blade, see my hand? So take your time, go slowly, okay? Don't go too fast. Voilà, okay? Then after, I'm turning my shallot and we go the other way now, like that. So to be safe, flat hand, sorry, we go like that, flat hand to stable the shallot. And then after, you're just going to do an incision like that. And one thing I want to say, okay, about the dicing, please, dicing, uh, uh, vegetable, dicing of shallot, uh, 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 garlic, is need to be by knife. It's not the same flavor when you do it with a Robocop. It really changes the texture of the shallot, of the garlic, but also, also the flavor, you know. I know Robocop sounds more easy, you put in the Robocop, but it's more like a puree, you're losing the juice. The juice go away from the garlic and the shallot. When you do that with a knife, you don't lose the juice of the vegetable. Okay, very important. It's knife is better. Okay, so after same thing, I put my knife here, my my uh, finger here, same thing. Okay, all very well. So you know it's really like the big picture is like that. You have two fingers behind and three in the front, and you really hold it like that. And again, same thing, blade, and just. Chef Sharon is wondering how you learned your knife skills, culinary school or on the job? Uh, so Sharon, uh, most of the time it was a little bit of a culinary school, yeah, definitely. They will show you the basic. But after, you know, you will learn in the restaurant, uh, you know, when you start in the restaurant, when you do an apprenticeship, you know, and uh, yeah, you learn. And after you really, uh, the skill you practice in the restaurant, you know, I mean, in the restaurant, you know, you always, uh, knife skill is so important, you know, like for speed. Most of the time, you have a lot, a lot of mise en place to do. So, trust me, you learn how to go fast, you know. But it's the beginning, you know. It's, it's like everything, you know. Take your time. Make sure you know what you're doing. And just practice, 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 you know. And now, you know, also, guys, you can really watch some good video online everywhere, you know. That's what is good now, you know. In my time, 30 years ago, I have no choice to learn, you know, in the restaurant with the chef. But now, you can always look a video of uh, me, for example. And, uh, and after you practice, it's all about practice, you know, chef. Go that bad, you know. You're gonna maybe cut yourself a little bit, but you know, it's part of cooking, you know. I'm still cook, uh, cutting myself, you know. Voilà. Bon, maintenant.
Let's go to a basic two onions. So I'm gonna put my goggles. You have my goggles? No? Okay, you have my goggles? For the onions? So I'm going to cry again. Onions, okay. Same thing. Same thing on the shallot, but bigger, okay? So, again. Table. You can. So because the onion is good, so I would recommend to put the onions like that on the cooling board. Take the paring knife, up like that, like that, that. Again, make sure it's stable all the time. Make sure everything is stable when you cut. Okay, boom. And we we'll clean all the time when you do dicing, whatever. You want a lot of space on the cooling board. Onions. Again, like the shallot, a little bit incision like that. Don't go too deep, okay? It's just really like a little incision, you see? Poof, just the first skin, Willy. The first skin, no more than that, huh? Then after, hop, take the first skin, and you just go gentle like that. Voila, okay? You need to see if I cry. After 30 years, I'm still crying, guys, okay? Oh, it was very juicy, this one. Ooh la la. Come on, you start to... For the competition, that side for the competition. Voilà, fed it. Okay, guys. Voilà. But you know, guys, to really dice, like take the vegetable, free it, peel it, it's just, I love it. You know, especially when you have a good knife. You know, it's just a pleasure. You know, it's like when you drive a good car, you know, same thing, you know, you want quality. Okay, voilà. So, maintenant, again, we use the same knife. Okay, chef knife. Again, we cut it by half. Okay. Okay, and same thing as the shallot. Okay. We're going to start to. Hey, I'm crying now. Sorry, guys. So I'm trying to want you to see. So again, three finger, paf, paf. Okay, again. Ready, guys? We go. So when you do like a bigger, like a mirepoix, okay? So a little bigger, so same thing. Like you slice it like a, I would say like a half centimeter. Voilà. After you go again this way, we're gonna go two time, two slice, like that, like that. Voilà. So you see, you can see, you see now you already have the dice here. You see, you see. Voilà. Huh? And then now easy again, same way, finger, puff, puff, and just. Voilà. Voilà, tu sais mieux quoi. Et oh. Voilà. Basic. Onion dice. Voilà. See? Very easy. Show you one more time. Okay. Like that. Boom. Again. Okay. So after you can go thinner, bigger, okay? But the basic mieux quoi. Voilà. See the size, guys? Yes? And after I'm going to go two times here, one and two. Voilà. Okay, and again, again, hold it very well. And this last one. Voilà. See? You need to feel very comfortable, you know. You really need to feel your, your knife is really your hand. You have no more hand. The hand is your knife. You know, you need to really... Uh, like Star Wars and Jedi. Jedi. Can we stop the door over there, please, guys? Chef Ludo is walking. Okay. Bon, maintenant. Julienne. I know some people ask me how to show them how to do a Julienne. La Julienne. Hold on. I'm going to show you how to do a good Julienne. Okay. Voilà. I'm going to do a good julienne. So for julienne, today, I'm going to use a little carotte. Uh, and a petite carotte. Voilà. We carotte. have a hello from Brazil. Brazil. Uh, oh. I've never been to Brazil. Never been to Brazil. I have a good friend of mine working in Brazil, Didier. He's a, he's a chef for Trois-Vaux in Brazil, in Rio. I'm crying. Sorry, guys. The uh, onions are already there. Woo. Those are strong onions. Woo. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Okay, carrot. Bon. Carrot. First, 
We're going to cut the extremity like that. I'm going to show you how to do Julienne. Voilà. Bon. We we'll use the peeler. I'm going to cut here too. So chef knife. Peeler. Okay. Boom. Peel. Is that right? You good? We we'll peel. Okay, guys. So we're very easy. Bon, now, huh? Okay. Oops. So the carrot. So Julienne is a very, very uh, French technique. Huh? We use a lot of Julienne. Uh, uh, most of the time is for more for uh, I will say for a beautiful decoration with vegetable or leek, leek julienne after we fry carrot julienne uh, celery root julienne we we'll do a celery root celery root remoulade I mean so many things we're doing uh, in French cooking with uh, with julienne okay voilà bon I'm going to put my bread after guys I want to show you something after with the bread okay but it's beautiful bread I'm going to show you how to cut bread after Good timer, guys, famous, please. Thank you very much, ladies. Merci, les filles. Uh, ah, the ambulance is coming for my, just in case, I call them if I cut myself. Coucou. Uh, voilà. Bon, carotte. OK. Julienne, make sure your carrot is very stable. So we do a little incision like that, OK? Very important. When you slice vegetable, especially a carrot, the carrot is very firm, very, very hard. You don't want the carrot to, to roll when you cut. You know, it can be, it's not, it's not safe, it's not easy to slice. So, do a little incision like that. Puff, like this, the carrot, don't move. It's fine. I see so many people cutting themselves because the carrot is like that. Like my mom who cut, cut herself. I know that my mom is here. My mom is here? She's watching me? I'll tell her she's watching me. Okay, so, let's go. Coletta. Okay, so Julien, on y va? Regarde. So, incision here, and after we're going to do like something, hold your knife. Hold your knife. Think about when you play tennis, okay? If you don't hold your racket, you're not going to do a good shot. So, same thing. Do some little incision like that. See? So, you see, you don't need to have a mandoline. Huh? You can believe that by hand. Huh? Okay? Voilà. Tell me about the carrot. You know what we say in France? In France, we say, quand tu manges des carottes, tes fesses deviennent roses et sans aimable. Mais mais, c'est rien. When you eat carottes, rien. Ça regarde. Is somebody from France know what I mean when you eat carottes? It makes you. Nobody from France knows the, the joke. We have one bonjour. Oh, bonjour. Bon. But when I was in France, I remember my mom. I don't know if it was my mom or my grandma, but what was saying, when you eat carrot, ça rend les fesses roses et ça rend aimable. Can somebody can translate that? No, nobody. Okay, you mean uh, eating carrot makes your uh, tes fesses, tes fesses pink, like a nice color, the fesses pink, and uh, make people uh, in good mood, like nice. So I recommend the whole world to eat a lot of carrot. People can be nice. Anyway, so to, we're gonna put like three slices of carrot like that, stack like that, okay? And it's gonna be the same, same way we dice or, uh, or slice onions or shallot. Again, our finger like that, and same thing. The blade are going to follow the, the finger, see? So, up. So that's a julienne. Voilà. So. And after, you can always also take the julienne, like that. And now we're going to do a brunoise. Like, take your julienne that and just. So that we call that brunoise. Very, very thin dice. you can see you know so if you don't feel comfortable to have three slices like that just have just one and take your time okay practice see voilà so it's a little too thin thinner this one 
So after you can adjust the... Hop, 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 hop. Oh la la! It's like when I play the game. You know the game Mikado? I don't know how to call his name in America. So again, uh, guys, please take your time, okay? Huh? Take your time. When I start, you know, really uh, dicing, I was really take my time. You know, we were very slow at the beginning. Any question? Nobody have a question about the Julienne? Abigail is translating uh, your carrot. What you say, Abigail? What pink, you say? Pink cheeks. Oh, it's pink cheeks? It's not the ass? Are you sure? Well, she's from in France. Abigail, where are you from in France? Let where us you know. Where are you from, Abigail? Where is she from? What is it? Bon. Voilà. So you see, guys, you see what I do all the time when I cook? It's clean. Very, very picky, and in the kitchen, you want to go clean. Why? Because it's more safe, I'm more organized in my head, I want my kitchen to be clean. And after you have less things to clean too, you know? You don't have a big uh, thing of pot everywhere, you know, in the kitchen. Be organized, be organized. So now, I'm gonna show you a little quick, it's not my thing, but I want to show you how to uh, do Supreme. Now, here in California, we have a lot, a lot of citrus, a lot. That's amazing. That's why I love California. I think we have the best citrus in the world. I love California. That for me is California. Mm. So, my favorite thing for to do supreme is to use my utility knife. Okay? So I'm going to show you how to do some segment with the great food, or you can use an orange or lemon, anything. So, first, utility knife. Okay? Same thing. Nothing changed. Three finger, le pouce, okay? Boom. Go like that. Like, like that. Oh my God, it's right, 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 so, so like that. Up, voila. Ah, so you want to see the fruit, so a little bit more. And we understand why. So we don't want to fix skin this one. Wow. See that? So that's exactly all. So you want to see the skin like the, the fruit like that, okay? So we have a big thick skin here. So how to do supreme now? So again like that, we're going to follow the fruit with a knife, see? And that you need a utility knife, huh? that cut very well the thick skin. Huh? So like, take your time and just pin it like that. Follow the fruit. Your hand, your knife, follow the shape of the fruit, okay? Voila. So you do that in the morning, a little great fruit of orange, like that, in the morning. Look at this, see that? Take up all the white here, you adjust a little bit. Voila, voila. So now you can see very well. Huh? Oh, the door, God! Put some oil in the door. Voila, so now we have uh, our great foot here, and now we're going to do the segment. So the segment is very easy. Same knife, utility knife, buff, and you just look the shape of the segment here. This door will drive me nuts. And it's so look like that take your knife poof see how it's easy guys look at this Tracy's see? teaching her 10 year old son to cook what's the best knife for what's the best knife for a kid uh, well that's scary huh? it's like my son is taking a knife but I would definitely uh, a little paring knife you know, because the shape and everything for the kid is good, you know, and utility knife. Because it's a very good knife, you know, uh, it can cut really everything, and it's pretty safe, you know, it's, it's less, I mean, it's very sharp, but not like, not like, uh, oh, shit. like, uh, yeah, great, it's great, I cut myself, it's great. Uh, yeah, I recommend this one, utility knife, yeah. Okay, I'll well, finish that quick. It, follow the just follow the same hand like that. Up, 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 and you press it. Just. Voila. So you can do the same thing with the orange, with lemon, with everything. Okay, my knife. Nobody, uh, nobody, uh, everybody forgot about the bread here. Huh? Voila. 
Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, the kitchen. Nobody put the timer off. See, guys? Do you know what I learned in the kitchen? Do you know what I learned in the French army? Do you know what they teach me? Don't trust anybody. Thank God, because the bread will be burned now, ladies. Huh? Oh, bread. Bread, guys. Nobody knows how to cut bread. I mean, the restaurant we know, but it's the restaurant in the... What the... Oh, the door! God! What are we doing? to pass over there. Guys, you... What's going on over there? Running a restaurant. Huh? Running a restaurant. Okay, one of my favorite knife I love to use a lot, you know, is... Take care of your knife, okay? Your knife is so important in your kitchen. Take care of your knife, you know? You know, I, you know how I judge a cook? When I hire a, a new cook, when I do an interview, you know, I do my interview with the, with the, with the chef, with the cook, and then the first day when he try come with me in the kitchen, you know what I do? I'm checking this knife, you know? You can judge a good cook by the way he take care of his knife. He's like, oh, God, you touch his You can really, uh, see a good cook the way take care of the knife. The knife are not sharp and clean. I will never hire a cook. This cook. Never. Never. Knives are so important. Knife, you know, in the kitchen, you never let somebody else use your knife. In my house, I have my knife, and I have the knife for my son and my wife. Can you just tell them to just stop for me? The... Okay, look at this beautiful bread. Beautiful bread, okay? Look at this bread. See that, guys? Beautiful. Just go from the other. Can I go the crust? Can you hear that, guys? Can you hear the crust, guys? Sarah, can you just turn it to the door? Can, can you just turn it to stop with the door? Just five minutes because it just drove me nuts. Can you hear the door or the bread, guys? I don't know, but when I hear the crust, the door. Okay, one of my favorite knife. We really am obsessed with. Where is he? Bread knife. Love bread knife. Nobody have a good bread knife at home. Nobody buy your bread knife. I see so many people, guys, cut the bread with a chef knife. And that, I call it sabotage. No. So bread, with this knife, I'm not going to cook the perfect slice. I'm going to break the shape of the bread. I'm going to destroy the beautiful bread. No. So, what cut very well is a big crust, because bread, it's all, all about crust, okay? All about crust. You want to destroy the crust. That, will yes. so you want a bread. See, if I go with that, see? All right. For the bread, I need to really push it to slice. So I destroy the bread like that. You see that? It's because it's not cut. It's not cut very well. This, this knife is not built for cut bread, you see? So, bread knife. Go with the bread knife. Look at this. Voila. My bread stays the same shape. Look at this. Look. See what? It's a nice slice. See? Huh? Got it. I'm really. Got it. Listen, but listen to the nice crust. You know, if I take my chef knife, yes, it's yes, it's a good knife, but it's not built for that. If I really Look at this. It's more difficult, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm breaking the bread, you know. It's, it's just all the crust go away. You know, like I said, it's very important to always, when you cook, when you dice or whatever, you need to use a proper knife. So a bread knife, it just, I love bread knife. I can still cut a tomato with that. I can cut everything with that, you know. See what I cut my tomato myself here? So how do you, so bread knife, French, French way we cook, uh, the French way we cook like that, the bread, like that. You go three slices, one like that, yeah, one like that. Voilà, comme ça, comme ça, after, hop, here. Voilà, that's the way. Hey, look at it, so this beautiful crust. So like I say, you know, I will not have a level to do that very well with this knife. It's, it's very, it's very difficult. I mean, you're still cutting, but you're smashing the bread. You see that, you see that, guys? See, it's, it's just, see, it's 
see how much you want to do in advance, you know? You see that? No. So, right now. Yes, sir? You want to, no, you want to, no? Good, okay. Uh, no? So we want No? Okay. Anyone in LA come to the restaurant and enter a shop off with Chef Ludo, who can chop an onion faster? Nah, I was scared. I would be scared too, trust me. So now I want to show you what to do with a bread knife. A bread knife is not just for bread. Okay, I'm going to show you a little trick now. That's my last thing for today. Okay, guys, thank you so much for staying with me. We have a couple requests to demonstrate a pineapple. How about, hey, that's the next, that's the next thing, ladies and gentlemen. That's perfect. A pineapple. So that's giving my lunch and with some beautiful sandwich with that. I'm cleaning my station as you can see as fast as I can. Because you know we're, I know we're all good to watch again now. You're the Patriot against Jacksonville. And go, go, go Jacksonville! Okay, Bruce in Carolina, Chef Ludo's doing a pineapple for you. Yeah. Okay, Bruce, Jari, Jari, Bruce, Jari. Clean up, clean up. Clean up, clean up. See guys, I clean, quick, because I'm so picky. Voila, it's important to clean. Pineapple, Bruce, it's coming. Voila, we good. So, pineapple. Not my pineapple, yeah. Oh, I forgot to do the potatoes, you guys. Next time. Pineapple, Bruce, voila. Huh? No. Who's who's? Uh, okay, so pineapple, Bruce, very easy. I cut myself, actually. and Nora are recommending putting some cooking oil on your squeaky door. Genius. Back in the bowl. Olive oil, pepsi oil, pepsi nut. Okay. Use vegetable oil and cooking spray. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's funny. Uh, bread knife, voila, bread knife. Okay, so pineapple. Pineapple, thick skin, okay? Thick skin, okay? So I recommend to use a uh, bread knife for that. So key, bread knife, okay? Go here. It's exactly the same way you do with a, with a, with a citrus, you know? Go like that, okay? To the two extremity, pineapple very, very uh, stable, huh? Okay, Bruce? And then after, you know, same thing, you're going to take the knife and just, like when you cut uh, wood, you know, with a, with a saw, same thing, okay? So a bread knife, when you use a bread knife, it's really like, like a saw, it's not like to go one time, you know, it's a saw. So look, same thing, see Bruce? So you just follow the shape of the pineapple. Voilà. See Bruce? Like exactly when you saw when you uh, cut a piece of wood in the forest. Okay, the bread knife is like that. It's not like that, you know, it's, it's like a saw. Voilà, make sure the pineapple is stable. You know, hold your knife like all the time. Oh yeah, I'm bleeding. Look at these guys. Oh, great. Voilà. Voilà. Next time Edward wants a butchering demo. A what? Butcher? Like a meat? Yep. Like what kind of meat you want to see? You want me to bring a, a, a chicken maybe? A chicken is cool, you know, so you see to butcher a chicken, it's pretty cool. You know, a lot of people don't know how to butcher a chicken. You know, a bird, you know? You know, most of the time when you have a whole, uh, so after you just, you know, I'm gonna take up everything like that, but see, it's very easy, huh? And trust me, with a bread knife, it's so easy. Voilà. And after, you know, Bruce, you can do whatever you want like that. Bruce, so after you can cut in a, up, come ça, Bruce, we yeah. are. That, you go like that. And then after we're going to take up the piece of wood here, you know, like that. Voilà. See, easy. So you can uh, go like that also, and just follow like that. Okay, take up the wood. That. Up. See, and we take up the wood like that. Okay, I really recommend 
not like that, it's still more difficult, but more like that because it's very stable and voila. Then after you can do whatever you want, you can leave it like that, cup again like that, and you know, or you can slice it thin if you want. So with a bread knife you can really also slice it very well, you know. Like sometimes we serve also a pineapple for dessert, you know, you do like a caspaccio, you know, very thin slice on the plate nicely, a little olive oil, a little lemon juice, and a little bit of dry meat and sugar is great. What are some other uses for the bread knife? Bread knife? Uh, I would definitely uh, cut a lot of roots, vegetable, like for peel also a uh, whole uh, celery roots. It's very easy to cut a thick, thick skin. Like for roots, vegetable is perfect, you know. Really for vegetable with a, with a thick skin, you know, the bread knife really uh, cut everything, you know. But you know, no, people, people, ne people never buy a bread knife, I don't know why. When I go to people's house, sometimes they never have a, a bread knife to cut the, the bread. You know, when I help people in their kitchen, ask for the bread knife, they don't have a bread knife. Or they have a very old uh, bread knife. You know? Cost two dollars, you know. I mean, a good bread knife, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a must in the kitchen. Okay, look at this. Yeah, up. Bread knife, you can really cut like paper thin, it's crazy. How do you pick a ripe pineapple? Also, it's luck, huh? It's luck, huh? No, but you touch it, of course, you can smell it, or whatever, you know. But, you know, I mean. Yeah. Ellen wants to know what knife you use to cut a cake. Ah, a cake, huh? It depends on kind of cake, of course, but a regular cake, definitely. I would say a bread knife, too, because you can really use it like a saw. You know, um, a chef knife, I mean, I don't know, you know, especially if it's a big cake, you know, you want to smash the cake again, you know. Like I say, you know, the bread knife is like a saw, you can really cut everything, be gentle, you know, it don't put pressure on the cake. Bread knife is great. So see, I think it's, people don't use enough a bread knife. One is my, my favorite uh, bread knife to use. It's bread knife, my utility knife, what is it? Utility knife. My uh, Perry knife. Oh, these are your favorite knives. Yeah. And my chef knife. That's my four favorite knife. Chef Ludo's favorite knives. Sorry, guys, but that's really. Yeah. A must. A must. Shopping contest? You want to do shopping contest? Yes, we want to do a shopping contest. Yes, so we promise. If people, people want to see okay, who wants to see Chef Ludo do an uh, onion chopping contest against his chefs here at the restaurant? Let us know. Yeah, you know something better to do, guys. You know, come on, guys. You know, so, so He's you chickening can, out. He's can, getting I go nervous. Watch a football, can I go watch a football game, guys, please? Uh, okay. No, I'm joking. Do you really care about that, guys, seriously? Can you, you chat? Do? Chatter and Cook yes. is wondering if you can uh, demonstrate honing a knife really quickly. Oh, well, go, go. So. So yeah, so make sure I put my glove but Okay. Oh, okay. one yes for onion contest. contest. Huh? Robin wants it. Yeah. Rebecca yeah. wants yeah. it. Allison wants it. You know, I'm going to lose this thing, you know that. So anyway, so towards the knife, like that. Three, three fingers like that. Okay, so make sure you know you really hold your knife. Okay, le pouce là, and the knife here. And that, trust me, nobody can take my knife. I mean, I, I really hold it. So that's it. I always no, I don't talk about tennis, but when you hold very well your knife, it's like you feel like it's in your, it's in your, it's your hand. It's an extension in your hand. You know, nobody can steal it, and I feel very, uh, very light. Here. Okay, we have some uh, onion challengers. There was a bit of. Oh, guys, you know, the restaurant become busy next door. Okay, guys, okay, guys, it's a line. Let's go. Before we start the contest, people want to know how to sharpen a knife using the honing tool. 
Say the angle is like uh, imagine you have, who's have a quarter here. Nobody have a quarter. I will show you the angles. So imagine you have a quarter. You know, like you imagine. Nobody have a quarter here. I told you to have a quarter already, guys. Okay. Nobody's ready again. That's my life. But if it change, quarter. Look, put a quarter here. Imagine. Okay. Put a quarter here, and it's exactly the angle you want. I know it's hard to do that when you do it that, but it's a little key. When you sharp a knife, imagine you have a quarter, that's exactly the angle you want when you sharp. Okay? Some people go like that, or some people go like that. You know? But the angle is really like, imagine you have a quarter, that's a good trick. That's a perfect angle, okay? Don't go like that, okay, of course. Or, you know, don't go like that, of course, the blade don't touch, but quarter is a good example. Voila. Bloody. Okay, Robin's money is on Victor for the. Uh... She's smart. She's smart. This one. She's who's the name? Robin. Robin votes for Victor. Thank you, Robin, for the support. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, you have night, guys. You don't have night. Oh, but take a night. Okay, go, guys. Yeah, you want. Have some over there too, guys. What color are we doing, Chef? Huh? What do you think we do? Mirepoix. What do you think? Yeah, one, one minute? Small dice? Huh? One minute? See which helps the most? No, it's not the most. I mean, it's the one who's going to finish this for a uh, night. Okay. This for a... Uh, oh, okay. Okay. We're going to... We're going to chop that in 15 seconds. Each chef has four onions. <laughs> who's going to finish four onions first? What kind of chop are we doing? I don't like competition. I don't like competition. What kind of chop are we doing? Chef? Small dice? Small dice? What do you want, guys? You, you pick. Yeah. Small dice? Okay, guys. Small dice. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm bleeding a little bit. I'm little bit. We've delayed the opening of the restaurant next door. Yeah, that's right. Hey, guys, come here. Come watch. No, 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 no. <laughs> Poor guys. They want to have a seat next door. They don't care about that, you know? Okay, ready, guys? Are you guys nervous? It's so back with the hot back here right now. It's a Nice. Robin says go Victor. Oh, what? what do you know Victor? What, what, what about Victor? Will? Oh, Will. Will is yeah. the chef. Introduce everybody. So here we have Will, chef de cuisine at Pays 3. And here we have Victor, sous chef at Pays 3. OK? Allison says go Chef Ludo. Thank you, my god. Okay. So we need to dice the thing and put him back everything here on the okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the home here like that is like the western, you know. You got all the swine. Are you guys? Huh? You got all the Who's gonna say stop? Who's say uh, let's go? I'll say. Ready? Set? Go. Oh, baby, you're ready. Oh, we have another chattering cooks betting on Chef Ludo. Let's see how everyone's doing. If you cut yourself, you're disqualified. Who's the head? Cramps. <laughs> Chef Ludo is cramping up. Oh, Victor's has an interesting technique. Mm. Abigail's feeling nervous. For what, for me? All this fast chopping is making people nervous.
Okay, tough to say who's ahead. Everyone has a different technique. Oh, man. Anne says, go Victor. Victor might be the crowd favorite. <laughs> well, this come on. Is, Chef Ludo, practicing his knife skills all morning. Oh, Monique says go Will. There we go. Will has a Facebook fan. Who's going to win the full set of Global Knives? Giant pile of onions. He's going down the. Oh my gosh! Look at these guys. <laughs> All right, and place. there we have it. Second place. Let's Four go. onions. Will and Victor fighting for second place. Remember, boys, if you cut yourself, you're disqualified. Be safe out there. boards are piling up. There are some tears. There's some crying. <laughs> Linda says go Ludo. Ula, they might tie, they might tie. It's a tie, you It's a tie. It's a tie, good job guys. It's a tie, good job guys. It's crazy man. I think it's crazy man. I love it. I love it, it's so good. So let's we'll go see to the decide finish the place. winner. We're going to have uh, Erika from uh, Blue Ball. going to decide place. the winner. God, it's so hot back here right now. I'm crying. Erika, you need to decide the winner. Uh, they both win the set. Give me the two sets? Oh, no, you so good. Yes. Oh, nice. oh, thank two you, sets. Erika. Thank, thank you, Blue Ball, guys. That's nice, Blue Ball. All worth it. That's nice. Good job, guys. Thank you, Blue Ball. Thank Apparently, you, Erika. Good job. Guys. Thank Say you. goodbye, thank everyone. You so thank you. And, guys, you know, we come back.